Hi, this is Fayaz Ahmad, Department of Physics, DBSIT, Kaoli. Today we are going to discuss about the topic of origin of energy pads in solids from the chapter of semiconductor. So what is the origin of energy band in solids? So the energy band theory of crystal is useful to determine the electrical property of a solid. So what is electrical property of a solid? That is nothing but the conduction of electrons. Conduction of electrons. So based on the conduction of electrons, we have to find the conductivity of the those solids. So what are the uh, two? What are the energy bands of in solids? We know that already there are three types of solids are there: conductor, semiconductor, and insulators. So for these three solids, we have two energy bands are there. One of the band is nothing but the valency band. Another band is nothing but the conduction band. So, what is valency band? The valency band is nothing but it is the maximum energy level to fill it with valency electrons. So, what is meant by here valency electron? The valency electron is nothing but the unfilled states of outermost orbit of a electronic configuration. That is nothing but the valency electron. You come to the another band is conduction band. So what is the conduction band? So initially there are the empty states. So the, these two are nothing but the two ba energy bands of the solids. So these two bands are separated by a Faraday energy gap. So we have to show pictorially. This is the valency band and this is the conduction band. This valency band filled with filled states. That is the valency electron. This conduction band is nothing but the empty states. These two bands are separated by energy gap E G. That gap we call it the Faraday energy gap. Now, how we have to form this valency band and conduction band? Now we have to explain this one in this topic. So, how we have to explain this formation of these two energy bands? That is valency band and conduction band. When we have to take them on the atom atomic structure, when the atoms are infinite distance, when the atoms are infinite distance. There is no interaction between the electrons of neighboring atom. Why? Because of there are maintaining the infinite distance of the atoms. If the atoms are finite distance, if the atoms are finite distance, there is an interaction between these electron orbit of neighbor atoms. So when the interaction between these neighboring atoms, it forms the valency band and conduction band. How it can be formed the valency band and conduction band? By using the there are two postulates are there or there are two rules are there. One of the rule is nothing but the quantum rule. Another rule is nothing but the Pauli exclusion principle. So what is meant by quantum rule? It tells about the energy level of a atoms. It tells about the energy level of the atoms. So that is nothing but the quantum rule. With the help of the quantum rule, each individual atom has maintaining of their Energy levels. Next, you come to the Pauli exclusion principle. What is meant by Pauli exclusion principle? In each and every energy level, the two of atoms are occupied in the energy level. That is the maximum number of energy atoms are occupied in the energy level. Based on these two rules, what is the quantum rule and Pauli exclusion principle? How the formation of this conduction band, valency band? Next, that is when atoms are brought together, interaction between Broad and atom, sorry, interaction, interaction of atom brought out into a large number of closed spaces levels of atom. When there are infinite distance of atom, there is no interaction. When the atoms are finite distance, there is an interaction between of this atom. There are closely spaced levels of the atom. Such closely packed energy levels is known as a energy bands. Such closed packed energy levels is known as a energy bands. So how to show the pictorial representation? So for individual atom, these are nothing but the energy levels. These are nothing but the energy levels of any atom. That is the individual levels of this one. So uh, <coughs> this energy levels is nothing but by using the quantum rule. Then what is another rule? The another rule is only Pauli exclusion principle. By using the Pauli exclusion, each and every energy level, it has filled with the electrons. Two of electrons are filled. With. These are nothing but the individual atom. That is, these, these, these are atoms are infinite distance. These are atoms are the infinite. 
when the atoms are brought closely or that is some finite distance if this unfilled states are brought in one uh, one energy form the one energy band filled states form a one energy band the unfilled states of e called about the valence band the filled states of this one called about the conduction band the separated by one energy gap how we have to explain this formation of energy bands with the help of one atom for for example you take carbon atom so what is that atom, uh, atomic number of the carbon atom there is a 6 that is the 6 of the carbon atom the electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p2 1s2 2s2 2p2 in this one there are two shells are there one is one shell is nothing but that means here one shell is nothing but occupied by 1s second shell occupied by 2s and 2p 1s means 1s2 means it has a filled states 2s2 is the it is a filled with electronic configuration and 2p2 is nothing but the 2p2 means it has a four unfilled states are there so that means 1s2 2s2 full fully filled 2p is unfilled that means there are four valency electrons are unfilled states if the atoms are carbon more the unfilled states of electron carbon form a one bond is known as the valency band it is always below and filled states the electronic carbon form one bunch is known as the conduction band as shown now you take the uh, pictorial representation there are two shells are there one one shell n equal to 1 is nothing but one shell that is 1s2 that is filled with so i showed the picture this is n equal to 1 this is a shell one it has a fulfill and fill state now we come to the second shell what is the second shell n, n equal to 2 it has a 2s2 it is a filled 2p2 it is a unfilled how many unfilled uh, valence electrons are unfilled here four valence why because of the p uh, atomic structure it has filled six actually p power p6 but here has 2p2 so it has a unfilled state that means the outermost half it has a four unfilled so i have to show this is the this is the first shell n equal to 1 it is a shell one it is a filled state n equal to for n equal to there are two orbits are there one is s orbit and second one is the p orbit that is 2s2 it is a filled with two valence electrons you come to the p 2p 2 2p2 means it is a 2p2 means two filled states that is a two here two are filled that means total we have four filled states are there what is the remaining one tip to remain got four are unfilled states of that p ka p ka orbit so these are nothing but the unfilled states so this unfilled states of all carbon atoms is forming a one bunch that is nothing but the valence band this filled states are forming a one bunch that is nothing but the conduction band so this is nothing but the pictorial representation of the forming of the energy bands in solids so finally we conclude that the there are two energy bands are there one is one of them is the valence band and another one is the conduction band in valence band it has a filled with valence electrons while in conduction band it is a empty states in valence band it can be filled with valence electrons what is meant by valence electrons the unfilled states of a its electronic configuration of a outermost orbit so with the help of this configuration we have to explain the energy uh, origin of energy bands in solids